Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Grace and peace from God the Father through our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Today's wisdom will be coming from out of Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, But seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Today I want to talk about God will for us. God will for us. Jesus would teach him the Beatitudes, and of course he talks about the attitudes to be. And as he was dealing with prayers, he was telling us, of course, one of the things we must not do is we must not worry. Of course, in verse 25, he gives them uh, counsel. He says, don't worry about what to eat, what to drink, drink or what shall you put on. And then he moved from giving counsel. He says uh, in verse 26 through 32, I'm going to give you some things to consider. He says, I want you to consider the birds of the air, the birds of the soul, nor do they reap, nor do they gather in the bone, and yet the Heavenly Father take care of them. Uh, he says, consider the, the, the beautiful flowers, how uh, it doesn't toil nor spin. Solomon, all of this uh, area was not a uh, 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 glory as these. And so he said, these flowers are today, uh, up today, and yet they're down tomorrow and they're cast into the oven. Of course, and then he says, uh, 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 people who are worried uh, about what to eat and drink, he said the Gentiles or the barbarians are concerned this. But he gives us a command in verse 33 not to worry, but to seek first the kingdom of God. And uh, before we even deal with that verse, I believe five particular areas I want to just give you uh, as it relates to worry. The first thing, the same God who created your life uh, can be trusted with every details of life. Of course, worry, number two, is more harmful than helpful. Number three, worry will keep us from what God wants us to pursue. And number four, worry shows a lack of faith and understanding of God. And fifth, wor our worry and fear do not empty tomorrow's of its sorrow, but it empty today's of strength. Of course, here in verse 33, he gives us a command, and in his command, in his command we find God will for our life. He says the first thing uh, he wants us to do is put God first. He said we need to get our priorities together. Too often we want to we want to seek God after we get in a mess. We want to seek God after we make a decision. But before we make that decision, he says, I want you to put God first. I want you to put, make sure that he is the or he's your priority in your life. And second of all, he says, if you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, of course, the kingdom of God is the rule and the reign of God. God, uh, uh, God having authority in our lives and in, in, in the earth. When God governs our life, then we can begin to, uh, uh, with that authority, begin to bring change in our community when we seek what God desires for our life. His kingdom and uh, of God and his righteousness, those things that are right related as relate to God. He says, and then the provision, he said, all these things shall be added. What are the things they talk about? The things that, that people were worried about. Uh, food, uh, clothing, uh, what to, whether, whether what they're going to drive or what they're going to wear or, 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 or how well they're going to live. He says, all of these things will be added unto you when you put me first. That is God's will for our life. May God bless you real good. May he smile upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. That's my prayer for you and your family today. God will for us.